Hi, my name is Justin Loria, and today I'm going to show you how to do a new mini ramp skateboarding trick that I call a fakie disaster. A disaster in skateboarding involves airing onto the coping of a quarter pipe like this, with the front wheels landing on the inside part of the ramp and the back wheels landing on the deck. It's important to note that this is different from a rock to fakie or a rock and roll in which your front wheels are positioned on the deck and your back wheels stay on the ramp because to perform either of those tricks you can simply lift your front wheels over the coping like this whereas to perform a disaster you have to get your back set of wheels over and while there are a lot of ways to accomplish this the most common way is just to ollie. When approaching this trick in normal stance, you'd have to do a 180 degree rotation to land in the disaster position, but you can eliminate the need to do that if you approach in fakie stance. In my opinion, the two biggest hurdles you're going to have to overcome in order to start landing this trick are number one, learning how to use the coping to bounce your back wheels into the air, as opposed to a traditional fakie ollie where you're popping the tail off the ground. And number two, once you're in the disaster position, learning how to roll back into the quarter pipe without your back wheels getting hung up on the coping. Let's focus on the re-entry first. Okay, so the practice step I want you to start with looks like this. Dial in your speed on the ramp with a couple of fakie tail stalls, making sure you have enough speed to get the majority of your weight on top of the deck each time. For the practice step you're about to perform, having a little too much speed is safer than not having enough. Now, as you approach the top of the quarter pipe, lightly jump up so that you're not applying any weight to the board when the leading wheels come into contact with the coping. If you do this properly, the leading set of wheels should roll over the coping and at that point, you can safely land with your feet on the board again without worrying about it slipping out in either direction. Once the board is locked in on top of the coping, you can bail out of the trick by stepping off the board with your back foot first and walking down the quarter pipe, being careful not to step on the board again in the process. Now that you're able to get into the disaster position, practice doing so with your front foot slid more toward the nose than usual so that you're prepared to roll back in. Notice that the center of my foot is slightly in front of the front wheels but not so far forward that it's all the way on the nose of the board like you'd have for a nose manual. This is actually plenty since our goal in doing this is just to remove some of the downward pressure on the back wheels rather than using the nose to completely lift the back wheels up over the coping. When you do this move properly, your back wheels should make contact with the coping as they roll forward off of the deck. Now, as you're trying this out, make sure to bend your back knee a little bit to take pressure off of the back wheels and focus on reversing the motion that you use to get the back wheels over the coping in the first place. If you feel your back wheels get caught on the coping, it's okay to bail out as long as you're taking your back foot off the board first. Personally, I've never really had too big of an issue with my back wheels getting hung up on the coping as I'm re-entering the quarter pipe. Possibly due to good foot positioning, but also possibly due to the fact that I ride wheels that are specifically designed for transition skating. So, these wheels are 58 millimeters in diameter, which is going to allow me to roll over stuff a lot more easily than if they were 54s or 52s like a lot of street skaters ride. Alright, so now that you've got the re-entry down, Let's look at how to properly ollie into a fakie disaster. Notice that for a traditional fakie ollie on flat ground, your tail makes contact with the ground in order to pop the back wheels into the air. However, at the top of a quarter pipe, due to the extreme angle of the board in relation to the deck, you won't be able to pop your tail off of anything to send the back wheels into the air. Luckily, if you watched last week's video, you already know a trick you can use to get those back wheels up and over the coping. Just like you did for the Chinese ollie, you're going to bonk your leading set of wheels off the coping and suck your feet up to give the board room to bounce up before setting it back down in the disaster position. While I was learning this trick, I mistakenly thought you had to very deliberately jump into the air during this part, but since you already have upward momentum due to the angle of the ramp, mostly you'll just have to bend your legs to guide the board up rather than pressing off the ramp with your legs to get enough height. Remember, as you do this, Having a little extra speed is safer than not having enough, but if you do get into a situation where your back wheels don't quite make it over the coping, it's still possible to bail safely. Just do your best to get the board away from you and avoid stepping back on it as you make your way down the ramp. Now, assuming you're landing properly in the disaster position, 
Start focusing on landing with your front foot shifted toward the nose a little bit so you'll be in a good position to take enough weight off of the back wheels as they roll over the coping on the way back in. Just like before, commit to rolling all the way back in while taking enough weight off of the back wheels to allow them to roll over the coping and right away clean. If you enjoyed this trick tip, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Click the bell icon to get a notification whenever there's a new upload. And most importantly, remember to have fun.